Ubisoft dropping some knowledge. So let's talk about it, dudes. So today we're going to go over the Ubisoft Forward event and I'm going to give my news wrap up and we're going to recap on what just happened on September 10th. Obviously, it's been two days since then. You guys probably already know this information, but this is going to be more of my opinions and thoughts, plus wrapping it up for you guys. I did pass my test. Thank you for the ones that wanted to know. So anyway, we got some videos to make this weekend as I have some free time where I go back to school Monday. Anyway, started off with a pre-show. And during the pre-show, there was uh, Brawlhalla, and then there was... Um, the pre-show uh, upcoming trailer games which we're gonna get into as well so one of the bigger things is division 2 update 11 is coming September 22nd by near the end of this month it includes the summit which is a new made playable solo or campaign um, co-op in which players climb a building floor by floor clearing out enemies to reach the hundred floor so it's almost like a um, a horde mode but you're getting higher and higher and higher and as you get higher the game gets more difficult and the rewards get better uh, it's also available to players who already own the New York expansion so that is pretty good to know if you are a Division 2 fan and you played the hell out of Division 2 you've got some content coming free and it's like a tower horde mode with better rewards and all that good stuff then we had Far Cry VR you dive into insanity Far Cry VR is the upcoming virtual reality experience that will take players back to Far Cry 3's tropical islands you'll be reunited with some crazy villains uh, there's no latency uh, it was partnered with uh, zero latency sorry I thought it said no latency and it will push players to work together to explore the islands fight for survival and escape the crazy man Vaz um, honestly it looks great of uh, Far Cry VR is just looking I mean obviously I'm a huge huge uh, VR fan so seeing this um, this game take a take a, up some VR time with the AK and the killing members and it, it's just I don't know it's VR hits different if you haven't experienced VR yet you got to experience it to, to really to really get the the feeling of it but uh, obviously, VR has been lacking in the Department of Triple Eight games, and now having Far Cry join that roster of Skyrim, Borderlands, etc., etc., is going to take VR to the next level. And obviously, it's a welcome thing because eventually, VR is going to have Triple Eight games constantly. I believe VR is going to be like the future, future of gaming, as long as, alongside um, X Cloud and stuff. Like it's. It's happening, dudes. And then we had Roller Champions, which is a it's a it's like a game where you're like uh not like a, a skateboarder, but it's like it's like a like a derby type game, I guess you could say. I don't I don't know if you it's like it's just like a sport game, derby game where you're just like like I don't know, man. It's like you're skating around, you're trying to dunk the ball. And um and and it looks all right, you know what I mean. It's it's it looks like a decent title. Um, like I said, I mean I'm not sure how uh, how you guys feel about Roller Champions, but um, yeah, but we're gonna move on with that one. Then we had Ghost Recon Breakpoint, um, the update. Uh, obviously, Ghost Recon came out. It didn't have the strongest launch. Uh, it was towing down beyond recognition, and then it went on sale. I think twenty dollars after it came out because everybody said it was just like Ghost Recon Wildlands, and yeah, it just didn't do good. So now, an update 3.0 is coming on September 15th, right before the Division 2 update, which will introduce a number of new features, a whole new adventure mode called Red Patriot, and um, 
and I guess it's like about like attacks on United States and it's supposed to be good. It's supposed to add players. You know, you're going to get Ghost War PvP as another update and you're going to have uh, access to, uh, it says all Ghost Recon Breakpoint players will get access to two free Red Patreon missions with the year one pass owners getting access to all 10. So if you have the year one pass, you're going to be able to play the Red Patriot in its entirely. And if you don't, you better get the pass because otherwise you're only going to get the two missions. So that was that. Then we had the crew two. It announced a new season with season one kick it off in November. Every season is going to have a dedicated theme and it's going to last four months. So think of more of a battle pass. Fortnite type minor, um, monetization uh, seems like a lot of games want to introduce that because that's what's hot off the the grill right now. Um, the um, hot off the grill right now is indeed the monetization of the battle pass and seasons. A AGOS is a game of space coming to the Oculus Rift, HTC Vive, and Valve Index. It's an interstellar VR adventure in which players take control of Earth's last world ship in order to find a habitable planet for what remains of Earth's population. Another one of those sci-fi future VR games uh, hopefully gives you the experience of being like this space cadet and, or astronaut and you're out there trying to find... Uh, find a planet to live on. Um, I'm not really sure how I feel about this. The graphics look uh, pretty damn good. Uh, the the concept behind it is pretty good, but we still don't really know much about uh, AGOS, so we'll just have to keep posted on that. And of course, they had to throw out a new update about Just Dance 2021, where it's gonna have a nine. It's gonna have uh, it announced nine additional songs from the track list, which you can try in uh, Just Dance 2020. The game will be on Switch, PS4, Xbox One, Stadia on November 12th, and um, obviously the PS5 in the Series X and uh, S when they launch. So Just Dance 2021, they're going to Just Dance going to be around forever. They're just going to keep putting a year number and then releasing the game uh just like Madden and NBA. So you just got to kind of accept that. That's what's going to happen. It it became like a Madden NBA type thing. And then we have For Honor, which is a game I do not care for, but there's about 25 million people uh, that have battled in For Honor, and they're announcing their Year 4 Season 3 Resistance coming on September 17th, where you can have fun um, with that uh, with that update. Uh, I don't really care for it too much, so we're going to move on. Immortals Phoenix Rising. Uh, we got a, a new look at Immortals Phoenix Rising, known, uh, formerly known as God and Monsters, where they had the name change... Um, not sure why the name changed it. I don't really know, remember the backstory behind the name change, but I guess it's called Immortal Phoenix Rising now. It's going to launch uh, December 3rd on Stadia, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch, and even PC, including Uplay Plus, if you don't have Uplay Plus already, which is a Ubisoft subscription service. Hopefully soon, uh, Game Pass, just like EA Play was, but you know, you never know. Um, and it's also coming to PS5 and Xbox Series S and X on launch. It's about a wing hero to do quests for to free the gods of Olympus from a curse. Uh, you will do your will godly powers, your ancient ancient weapons, and your battle mythological myth can't talk mythological creatures across a fantastical land called the Golden Isle. Uh, if you if you've seen uh, people talk about it around the internet right now, as I was doing research for the video, a lot of people were comparing it to like a Breath of the Wild. They're saying it's like a not a knockoff, but like it's definitely heavily inspired by uh, Nintendo's blockbuster. So I'm not really sure how I feel about Immortals Phoenix Rising. I've seen some gameplay clips of it. It definitely does look Breath of the Wild inspired, but it's like one of those games that I'd actually want to play, get in my hands before I uh, I judge it and knock it off completely. After that, we had Prince of Persia, which is something we talked about on this channel that they were going to have a remake, and voila, here you go. Ubisoft has confirmed that Prince of Persia is coming back in a glorious remake where you'll be manipulating time, jumping, wall running on January 20th. 21st of next year. Developed by Ubisoft Prune and Ubisoft Mumbai, the game is a full-scale remake of the 2003 Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, and it will launch on PS4, Xbox One, and of course be available on uh, X and S and PS5 via backwards compatibility. Not sure if uh, it's going to be actually coming out as a PS5 and Xbox Series S and X title. We do know Series X and S, uh, X 
and S can play all the games in the Xbox ecosystem. So for them, Prince of Persia is going to be okay. But as for the PS5, if you get the PS5 digital only, you probably won't be able to play this game because you're going to need the disc to put it in the PS5 because the way I'm reading it, it looks like um, the way you play it on PS5 is if you have the disc version to put the PS4 disc in the 5. And it doesn't seem to have a PS5 release in an official stamp so that that's kind of weird uh rainbow six siege um had like a little announcement of like which company which not company which cup is the best esport in the world that's 45 countries compete against each other in a global tournament uh more some some more esports if you're in rainbow six Siege, it looks like a nice esport there's uh, uh prize money involved of course and a bunch of other goodies and you get the fame and Twitch recognition with it. Hyperscape is um, having a update um, September 15th where Turbo Mode, which is uh, you pretty much eliminate all the other squads in Scramble to capture the crown. Uh, I haven't really played much of Hyperscape. I watched a lot of Twitch versions, Twitch versions, Twitch streamers play the game, and honestly, I formulated my own opinion that it's something I'd rather rather watch somebody else play than play for myself. Because I don't think I personally would have a good time in this game. You know, I'm I'm good with battle uh, royals. I like PUBG, Fortnite, Call of Duty Warzone, but this one's like one of the different battle royals where it's like jumping and aim on point and it's just like for me I'm not sure if I even want to take the time to even try it uh, I enjoy watching others play for sure though Scott Pilgrim vs. the World the game is coming in its complete edition it's something that I know my buddy Spawn Wave is definitely hyped for I'm sure if you guys don't know Spawn Wave check him out it's on YouTube it's a big guy nice guy really detailed with taking apart systems and putting them back um, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World Complete Edition revives the classic beat em up Scott Pilgrim game. Came out a long time ago. It's now coming 2020 for PC, including Uplay Plus, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. It doesn't say if it's coming for the Xbox, X, and S, or PS5, but this game definitely is worth the playing if you haven't played it already. Uh, and at least now you get the remake version, plus hopefully updated graphics, better resolution on the art. And obviously it comes with all the com complete DLC. And then we of course heard about Watch Dogs Legion. Watch Dogs Legion is is still they're still pushing those uh, the news for Watch Dogs. They've been pushing this game heavy. They know it's one of their AAA games. You know we've had Watch Dogs one and two. So here is the third installment, and they're really trying to get this one out there. And the, honestly, the community, the gaming community, has been taking this one with like grains of salt. They're not sure how they feel about it yet. I personally don't even know how to feel about this game. Like the more I see it, the more meh I feel about it, to be honest. Um, but they're adding a new member to the resistance with the award-winning award-winning British. Music Musician Stormzy, the artist debuted the video for a song Rainfall at the Ubisoft Forward event with um, a track release on October 2nd. Uh, and it looks like Stormzy will actually appear in a mission inside the game. So if you're a fan of Stormzy, maybe you want to get the game just to see him in the game. I mean, you know, people do that stuff and I don't, I don't judge it because... I mean, you know, I buy Nintendo stuff because it's Nintendo, so, I mean, you know what I mean, it's just the way it is. And then the last bit of news we're going to cover about with this Ubisoft showcase wrap-up is the Riders Republic. Riders Republic is an all is an all-new outdoor sports playground coming to the Xbox One, Series S, and X, PlayStation 4, and 5, plus Stadia and PC via the Ubi Store or the Ubi, uh, Ubisoft Play, <laughs> Ubi Play Plus. They're really trying to push this Ubi Play Plus, it's trying to be like a Game Pass, trying to be like EA, um... As far as I know, UB Play Plus isn't on the the consoles yet, where EA Play is, and of course Game Pass and e EBA Play. So maybe well, you know, you never know. Um, but yeah, and that is all the news we got for the Ubisoft Forward Wrap Up event. Hope you guys enjoyed it. My thoughts on it. Um, some stuff I didn't care about, but the the biggest highlights for me is the Far Cry VR. Um, the um, the, the Phoenix, Immortals Phoenix Rising, Prince of Persia, and the Scott Pilgrim. Everything else was kind of meh, or I, it just didn't interest me because I don't play it. Like, Division 2 is good. It's great for the ones that play it, but since I don't play, uh, I don't really care for that. I didn't, I don't, um, 
not in a way like it's a bad thing. It's just like, you know, I'm not I'm not a player of the game, so I'm not that interested in it. Roll of Champions, I didn't really care for at all. Uh, um, I didn't care for Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Don't care about Just Dance. Definitely didn't care about For Honor. Prince of Persia, definitely. I think I said I like that one. And then, like, Watch Dogs um, Legions just has a meh feeling in my mouth. Anyway, guys, make sure you stay up to date with all the latest in gaming tech news and reviews. Smash that like. And as always, subscribe. God bless and peace. <laughs>